What is going on, YouTube people? Neo Cards and Comics here. Today to talk about Zero Cool. WTF is a Zero Cool. That's what we're talking about? Gary V drawings? Okay. Uh, all jokes aside, obviously there's been a bajillion videos about this already. I don't necessarily want to focus too much on the Gary V aspect of this, the zero cool, I mean, a little bit on the zero cool aspect of it. I, I don't necessarily care so much about the product here. Uh, Gary V's whatever. He's fine. I don't have the hate or vitriol towards him like most of the internet does, but I also do not worship on every word that comes out of his mouth, but he's generally a fairly smart guy. You know, this is his V friends thing, uh, teamed up with Josh Luber and Fanatics. What I really want to focus on here is the zero cool aspect of this and primarily the sneak peek slash how these hot in demand products are going to be sold with Fanatics because this is the exact template they're going to take and move over to the sports card side. Now, not for everything. Uh, this will probably be for your super high end and also your very in demand stuff. I am thinking, uh, let's say they get Prism just for the hell of it. Or Topps Chrome. We'll use Topps Chrome as an example. How I imagine this happens is Topps Paper gets released to the general masses. You find it in Walmart, Target, whatever. Topps Chrome hobby boxes go out to the card collector twos of the world. And then Topps Chrome first off the line or whatever they call it, some limited release special edition thing, they drop and it will be sold like this. So... Let's just go ahead and cover that first, and then we'll circle back to the zero cool angle of it all. So what does like this mean? So the way that they do these, they are called blind Dutch, Dutch auctions, and they have a very convenient video that explains exactly how the system works. I'll just go ahead and play that in a second and, and save you guys the hassle, of, guys and girls the hassle of having to go click the link for it. Uh, but I'll play that for you in a second. But what is nice here, once again, I don't pretend this isn't beer friends. Pretend this is Topps Chrome first off the line or whatever product you want to insert here. And this is coming from their sports card trading database. They give you the full breakdown. You know exactly how many cases there are, how many boxes there are, packs per box, cards per box, total number of boxes produced, and how many they're selling. So right here you see there's a thousand produced, 800 are being released because a certain percentage of these is going to go into a private stash. They're going to send them to other influencers uh, to open on their YouTube channel, general marketing shenanigans and nonsense, which is which is fine, whatever. Uh, I don't have a problem with that. I can see how some people could have a problem with that. I don't have a problem with that because they're upfront with exactly what is all going on here. So if they want to keep their little cuts, their company can do whatever the hell they want. It then breaks down the parallels. All this stuff is laid out, which is nice. And I really like knowing exactly how many cases, how many boxes and all that stuff. So if this was, once again, Topps Chrome first off the line, say it's 10,000 cases, uh, you know exactly how many cards per case and, and all that jazz. And then the blind Dutch auction aspect of it is extremely interesting because they pitch it as it is the most fair way for the market to essentially set the price. Whether they're right or wrong on that, time will tell. I'll play the little video here really quickly. It's only a minute long. It's 60 seconds long. Uh, and, and then, you know, we'll, we'll kind of talk about it a little more. So let me just fire this up really quick. Ready to buy cards on Zero Cool? We use something called a blind Dutch auction, and we believe it's the fairest way to buy trading cards online. It's actually dead simple. All you do is tell us how much you're willing to pay, and we take care of the rest. If there's a box of cards you've got your eye on, simply head to the product page and place a bid for the most you're willing to pay. All the bids are hidden. No FOMO here. Once the auction ends, we match the number of boxes available to each of the highest bids. So if there's 10 boxes available, then the top 10 highest bids win and no one else is charged. The lowest of the winning bids becomes the clearing price and everyone pays the clearing price, no matter what you bid. So if you bid $1,000, but the clearing price is only 300, then you only pay $300 for your cards. Pretty cool, right? With this type of release, a true blind Dutch auction, the market sets the price, not us. And almost everyone pays less than their initial bid. 
transparency, equal access, and a fair process. That's what we're building at Zero Cool. We'll see you at the next drop. So that is the how the whole situation is going to play out. I, you know, with a zero experience on it, I haven't used it. I haven't participated in one. You have multiple days to do this, by the way. So this went live today for this particular product. Uh, you have like two and a half to three days to submit bids for this. So it's not like, you know, a Panini Dutch auction where you're watching it count down and they're purposely driving. Panini Dutch auction is built as a FOMO machine, essentially. This, not so much. It's intriguing. I am curious to see how this works. I am also, I uh, always want to default and say chat, uh, viewers at home, very curious for your comments down below on how you think this will work. Do you like this? Uh, does this seem better? To me, it seems better than what is currently going on in regarding Dutch auctions and in regarding, you know, uh, right now, essentially, the Dutch auction sets the price and then Dave and Adams and Steel City and those guys manipulate the market into whatever the price that they want it to be for at least a little bit until the true secondary market price kind of reveals itself on eBay. This to me does seem more fair uh, and seems like you get a more accurate market price. I am sure there are ways to game the system that I am not smart enough to figure out. I'm sure there will be the tinfoil hat brigade that does not like something about this. I get it. It's fine. But it is an interesting way to kind of run one of these. To me, the biggest thing is the transparency of exactly how many of whatever the product is that you are bidding on is 100% transparent and you see that. Uh, that to me is the big, I don't want to say game changer here because I don't know if it's that big of a deal but it's at least very interesting. It's not a full print run. I mean, in some cases it would be the full print run. In this case, it is the full print run. If we're using my Topps Chrome first off the line example, that would not be a full print run, but it would tell you the full print run of first off the line. It, it, once again, this is this mythical world that we're living in that Topps first off the line is a thing and this is how they would sell it. So that part's cool. Uh, how all this works in real life, we'll find out. Uh, and once again, you know, I don't necessarily care so much about the V friends aspect of this. I will not be bidding on one of these boxes. Uh, let's swing that around. So leave your comments down below on how you, what, what's your thoughts on the blind Dutch, Dutch auction method process. It seems easy. I like that you have multiple days to do it. I like that, you know, the print runs. Uh, I like that it automatically reverts to whatever the lowest price out of X number of boxes there are. And then everyone pays that same number. Uh, instead of a regular Panini Ducks auction where I might pay 2000 you might pay 1500 and then someone over there may pay 1000 because they got in right at the last second and timed it perfectly. So I do like that aspect of it. Uh, the Zero Cool thing. So this is a splinter company. I, I guess a splinter company. It's essentially the non-sport trading card division of Fanatics now. Uh, we have the sports card trading card division, which I don't believe is yet to be named. And now we have Zero Cool, which is going to be the pop culture slash non-sports card section of this. Though I do not care at all about VFriends. I could care less about this product. I have a feeling as time goes on, this there will be products released on this platform on Zero Cool or Zero Cool branded products that I am probably going to be interested in. You know, this Tops has the Star Wars license. Do they send Star Wars to zero cool to be manufactured, or does it still go through tops? We don't know. I am completely speculating on that. Uh, do we see other things from this, other pop culture people? You know, what if there was a, you know, Leaf Pop Century, but a zero cool pop century? And, and they ran out a bunch of different autograph cards or something like that. Or I'm not a big art guy, but I am sure there is other artists and stuff like that that would do extremely well on a platform like this. And for things like that, like if it's some niche art thing, they would probably keep the print runs extremely limited, but they would probably go for really high prices because it's going to cater to a certain audience. Uh, you know, I, I encourage you to watch the video that Gary V and Luber did together. They are pitching this as a premium product, whether that's salesmanship or accurate or not. I don't know. I am sure this is going to sell out at some astronomical sum of money, given the limited number of boxes that they are. And given the money that is thrown around in the Gary V verse, 
uh, with the V friends and all that stuff. There's a lot of money running around in that circle. And I have a feeling these are going to go for a very large price. But once again, I'm interested here on, to me, this is a, a, a peek through the looking glass in regards to what is going to be coming to us on the sports card side of things and maybe the non-sports card side of things for like Star Wars and stuff like that, even if it's not produced by Zero Cool, even if it's still a Topps product coming out through Fanatics. And it's not like, you know, just to be 100% clear, not every single card set is going to release like this. This is going to be for your limited high-end product, most likely. Once again, I relate this to a first off the line. There is going to be a Topps Chrome release, and there will be a Topps Chrome first off the line release that will have extra special stuff in it, and it'll get released like this. That's how I envision this. Or uh, for those familiar with Star Wars products, there's Star Wars Stellar Signatures, where X amount of cases are made. They basically all have the same cards in them with a little bit of shake up on the back end on certain things. But generally speaking, uh, you essentially get a full set with some different ones mixed in. I could see a product like that releasing on here. It's extremely high end. They're like fifteen or twenty thousand dollars a case. I could see something like that being released on a on this style of whether it's zero cool or whatever the fanatics trading card brand ends up being. Um, products like that are going to be what goes on this blind Dutch auction. So to me, the most interesting part of this is the blind Dutch auction and what is to come with zero cool. Not so much the V friends, but what is coming later on in life. Uh, that's all I have for you guys and girls today. Curious for your thoughts and comments down below. As always, smash the like button if you haven't. Leave me a comment if you haven't. Click the notification bell, I guess, uh, if you haven't. And we will catch you guys and girls on the next one. And the next one will be a mail day video. I actually recorded the mail day video on Monday prior to doing the Dungeons and Dragons box opening. Whoops. Uh, and I pushed it back because I needed to make the I Got Scanned video and it was going to release this morning while you were watching this. But then this happened. So that trumped that. So the mail day video gets pushed another day. So that will be out either Thursday or Friday, pending other nonsense in the trading card world. So with that being said, now catch you guys and girls on the next one. Peace.